I'm in the LT Spy Simulator, and I want to model bank assets and the banking reserve requirement for these assets. The three components here at the left model bank assets, and the three components at the right are going to model the banking reserve requirement. And this particular example is important because it introduces a new simulating component. It says B1 component. That is a current controlled, or excuse me, an equation controlled current source. This is the equation that determines the current in this current source. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. Now, capacitor C2 is used to model the bank assets. And assets that are generated by this current source flow through resistor R1. And R1 is a sensing resistor that's set at 1 ohm. And so every volt that appears across R1 produces 1 amp, or 1,000 per month in standard simulation conditions. So this R1 is a sensing component to sense the bank assets that are subject to a reserve requirement. Now, there may be assets that flow into this capacitor C2 that do not flow in through R1, and those are not subject to the banking reserve requirement. So initially, I've set up a very simple model where this current source sends in $100,000 a month in deposits for 10 months. And then what it does is it, is it reverses and it withdraws funds at $100,000 a month for 10 more months. Now what this current source here does is it basically takes senses the current flowing through this resistor and does and executes this equation. Now notice that this voltage source sets my percent reserve requirement. So in this particular example, I set the percentage at 10%. So whatever assets are on capacitor C2, 10% of those assets are required to be stored as reserves on capacitor C1. So basically this current source B1 is going to take the current in resistor R1 and do a divide by 10 because it's a 10% requirement and I need one tenth of the assets to be stored on C1 to represent the reserve requirement. Now this is the equation that controls the current in current source B1. Now notice that the current is equal to the voltage at this dollar in out node. That's this particular voltage here minus the voltage at the assets node which is this particular voltage here. So if current is flowing from right towards the right through R1, the voltage here will always be greater than the voltage at the assets. And this will be a positive term in this current equation. But it, when the current reverses and I withdraw funds from C2, the V assets is bigger than the voltage at the dollar sign in out node and the current becomes negative. Now this current is multiplied by the percent reserve which in this case is always 10 percent and to convert 10 percent to a fraction I, I do the divide by 100 with this term. So let's take a look at the simulation results. Let's do a simulation run. And let's probe a few things. Let's look at the current in this deposit withdrawal current source. So here we see a deposit of $100,000 a month for 10 months. And then we withdraw $100,000 a month for another 10 months. And we don't do any other banking transactions. So we're really simplifying things. So the bank's not doing any loans, not doesn't have any expenditures, not making any investments. So let's probe 
the current in this equation controlled current source. And we see that that does do a divide by 10. So the current is 10 times less. So let me remove this. Let me re-simulate again. And we'll probe some additional nodes. Let's look at our reserve requirement. So this is our reserve requirement. Let's probe our percent reserve. Let's set it 10 volts or 10 percent. Now let's probe our bank assets. And that's shown in purple. So there's a so the purple is 10 times greater than the reserve requirement that's shown with the white trace. So the bank has this amount of income or this amount of of assets to play with. It can pay expenses, it can make investments, it can make loans. But if this purple line ever falls below this white line, which is a reserve requirement, then the bank has not met its reserve requirement. 